Yeah, and you guys, many of you remember Christine and her son, Devin Swow. His cause inspired a community to cheer for him, and now they're cheering for her. He jumped into my arms, and I look at that picture, and I have no idea how I held him after just completing 26.2 miles, and he was wiping my tears. Christine Suter yeah, recalls the moment her son, Devin, greeted her at the finish line of her first Boston Marathon. At the time, six-year-old Devin was battling DIPG, a brain tumor that would take his life five months later. Six years later, Christine is training for her seventh consecutive Boston Marathon. I can see him every time I finish, and I think that's part of the reason why I continue to run. Now, Suter runs for Devin, for awareness, and for the foundation named after the hashtag that sent his cause into the national spotlight, Why Not Devin? The Why Not Devin Foundation helps families with a child diagnosed with DIPG. When Devin was diagnosed with a tumor that no child had ever beat, his family decided their son could be the first. Ultimately, Devin's fight was mighty but short. And to this day, there is still not one survivor of DIPG. You know, we have the saying that life should be a marathon and all these kids only get to sprint. And as hard as running that 26.2 miles is, it's nothing in comparison. To date, Why Not Devin has raised more than $300,000 through fundraisers, the Boston Marathon being the largest. This year, Suter has six runners on her team, some from as far away as Israel, a purposeful choice to bring awareness worldwide. I've been all over the world recently and it's it's mind boggling to me, but also amazing because I think that shows how much awareness has happened and that change will happen. And on Marathon Day, Suter says there are signs of Devin everywhere. Now running Boston is so incredible because there is a sea of green all along the marathon routes. That sea of green, Devin's army, DIPG warriors, and a reminder to Devin's mom that every step in this marathon is one step closer to a survivor. When I look at that picture, I'm like, I can do anything. If I could run that and then have him jump into my arms and hold him, it's my metaphor, that picture. And you know, you guys, Christine reflecting on the last seven years, she says today, her heart is happy, her boys are thriving, and Devin is always with them, and I know he will be with her today.